Hi, I'm Tom Patty from Worth Point, and we're at the Midway Antiques Field here in Brimfield, Massachusetts on this glorious September day. Visiting all of the booths, or as many as we can hit, there are a lot to go through, so join us as we explore Brimfield in September. I'm here in the Midway field with Joe Mattis. I see that your booth is just filled with Czechoslovakian glass and, and deco lamps. How long have you been doing this? Uh, 30 years. Well, I've been collecting the glass for 30 years. I'm third generation antique dealer. I was doing shows with my grandmother when I was 12. And I, I, I enjoy it. I love it. I love the communication that I have with my customers. And even people just stop in and want to know. What, what is this stuff? It's pretty, but what is it? What can you tell me about, about your collection and, and the popularity of Czechoslovakian? Uh, this particular style, the deco style, was made between 1918 and 1940. It's, it's beautiful. I mean, just the, like you're saying, the vibrant colors and, and the forms and, and the variations in the colors. It's just unbelievably beautiful. Well, what, how it evolved to that was their festival garb and their history. It's the history behind it that makes the piece, makes the quality, and, and pulls it all together for the collectors and, and for the dealers as well. It took a while to catch on, but people have to uh, be aware, have to be able to see something before they know if they like it or not. Right. And it's bright colors, and now people are really getting into bright colors. Joe, can you tell us about some of the, the most interesting pieces that you have here and, and how they were made? A good example is this piece, or this piece down here, or this piece was made by a, a, a gentleman who had a factory. He was his own designer, he had his own factory, and he was his own shipper, which his being his own shipper was a rare thing in those days. Uh, his name was Kralik. He, he was in business from 1922 to 1940, and he did some special things, and uh, people collect nothing but his things now. For, for vintage art glass, it's still priced in the realm of reality. They run anywhere from $35 up to uh, $475. This particular piece that I have here, I call zigzag. And how it was made was it's four layers of glass, they actually, in, on the second layer, uh, they took a metal comb right. and they combed the hot glass, which is a pretty difficult technique all in itself. Exactly. So uh, you don't find a lot of these pieces because it took a special craftsman to be able to do that. Right, right. And, that's, and, and a piece like this is $150. Thank you very much for stopping in. I hope people can, uh, now they know what this stuff is. Exactly. And you can't, what I've learned is, you don't know if you like something until you see it. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's okay. exactly true. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's great meeting you. Nice meeting you. We've seen a lot of interesting things here at Brinfield, from Czechoslovakian glass to canoes and just anything that you can think of. So visit us at www.worthpoint.com.